the National Football League on EA Sports. And we'll see the only two teams to meet in the Super Bowl three different times. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the Pittsburgh Steelers next on Madden Football. Well, to the locals, it's still and will always be Heinz Field. But for the rest of us, we're along the North Shore, the Allegheny and Ohio Rivers at Acrisure Stadium in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Joined by a former NFL quarterback up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right mm -hmm. over them for big yardage, maybe six points too ball is teed up Chris Boswell to do the honors and we're underway from Pittsburgh has this at the six returns looking good so far and pretty solid field position starting out here Brock he's tackled at the 29 so here come the Cowboys for their opening drive Bringing him out, coming off one of his best seasons as a pro, an MVP runner-up finish in year number nine, Dak Prescott. We're not for some guy named Lamar Jackson up there in Baltimore. I think Dak Prescott would have won MVP last year. Had his best season statistically. Total control of that Cowboy offense, over 4,500 yards. And remember, he led in touchdown passes with 36. But we know what it's all about in Dallas. It's not what you do in the beginning. It's how it finishes. It can you take those steps in the playoffs. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable. And then creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. Second and three now. Dak off the play fake. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Well, that was almost one of those nice chunk plays you like to see in the NFL, Kate, before he was able to recover and provide the hit and ultimately dislodge the football. You like to see that physical edge and scrappiness to contest any kind of shot plays down the field. Play action, Prescott. Flushed out of the pocket. Trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't, and they drop him. And they're gonna have to regroup after this one. Every defense in this league is gonna sign up for a three and out to begin a ball game. But to send him off the field, to really add that extra tone setter by backing him up with a sack, well, that's the cherry on top of that three and out. Cowboys putting it away here on fourth, and it's the longtime vet Brian Anger on now. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. So the Steeler offense getting out there for its opening drive of the game. And bringing them out to fourth year quarterback and capable dual threat producer from Ohio State's Justin Fields. There's still lots of people around the NFL that believe that Justin Fields' best football is in front of a major believers of him as an upper-tier quarterback. And the reason why, Kate, is he's got physical traits that are just unique and different. He can run it like a running back, and he can spin a football as well. In fact, that running ability is some of the best in the game. But just continuing to build and refine his game as a passer between the tackles, that will be the key to the longevity of his career. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. You, know, you call that first down running play. You don't always expect to get those kind of yards. But they'll take that every single time. Here's first and 10 from the 34. Harris once more. Again, he hits the second level. And he takes this into enemy territory to the 48-yard line. That one goes for 17 yards and moves the chains. 
Now, don't think for a second they're going to slow down the tempo. Defense on their heels. And right now is the best chance to go push that envelope and get aggressive. Play action fields. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Timing is everything in life. And timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Fields looking to throw. Escapes the pocket. He keeps it and takes off. And he works this to the 38 before going down. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And that's a Steelers first down. You know, before the snap, you know, right before the snap, you may have to take off if the read isn't there. That was a great adjustment made at the perfect time for the first down. Fields on first down. He can't connect with him. Incomplete. Just put it a little too close to the boundary there. You hear defensive coaches preach this all the time about not giving up the big play. Keep everything in front of you. They're going to need to stay vigilant because he's definitely a receiver who can take the lid off of a defense. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Now we're running for the first time with Jalen Warren. And he'll be brought down here at the 23-yard line. 16 yards on the play. And he'll bring up a Pittsburgh first down. Ooh, I like that. I really like that execution to move the chains. Now that third down call that they had ready, well, they could stick it right back in their pocket for a later occasion. On first and ten, it's Fields. Got a man over the middle, complete. And he'll go down here at the 16. When you see play action, do all you can to get your eyes to the tight end, because that's their bread and butter. That play action gives him time off the line, helps chip a rusher, or even helps sell that fake. And then when he releases, he gets out, he gets some leverage, he gets to that edge before the defender can cover him. From the 16, the throw is caught. And they'll get this down nearly to the end zone, instead stopped at the two. 14 yards on a nice play there, and it gives him first and goal. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Fields out of the gun. And they will score. Touchdown, Pittsburgh! The Steelers have a great first drive and get the game's first points. He finds one of his great receivers, Brock, and they are off to a great start to begin this ball game. Yeah, it's such a positive offensively when he can go find not just a field goal, but a touchdown on that opening drive. And defensively, whew, this starts to shake the foundation of your preparation and makes you wonder what's in store. Chris Boswell for the point after. That one right down the middle. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. Now Boswell on to send this away. Here's Cavante Turpin on the return. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Back out come the Cowboys for their second try. And they haven't gotten very far into their opening script yet, have they? Just a three and out to begin this game. They'll get this drive started, first and ten. 
This drive will begin with a run from Elliott. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it's stopped. First down play, nets some five. It's going to be second and five. You gain that kind of yardage in the run game, and you're going to gain the trust of your offensive coordinator. Plays like that, runs like that, set the table for everything else in the playbook. Here's second and five. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on to a well-placed hit like that one. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Dak now from the gun. He's on the move. Oh, he's going to run for it. Give him 18 yards on that play, Brock, and it gets him a first down. You know, these are the type of plays that really get an offense going. This is a chance for QB to inspire the guys around him, calling his own number, carrying his teammates to a first down on that big run. That inflates an offense, and it can suck the wind out of that defense. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. First down, here's Dak. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. They won't snap it in time. That is going to be the end of the first quarter. Neither side separating much so far. More from Ankershire Stadium after the break. Second quarter all set to begin, and it'll be Cowboys football. They'll have it second and eight. Prescott here from the gun. Ferguson's got it, complete. And he's going to get it out past the 40 before he goes out. He manages a gain of eight there. And it'll be first down, Dallas. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. Here's Prescott, first and ten. That'll be complete to Elliott. And they take him down right along the 30. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. On second down, or on with Elliott. And he'll get it down to the 24-yard line. That one ends up a gain of six. And that's good for a Cowboys first down. Well, looky here. You don't even have to worry now about a third down call as that run moves the sticks. Now that call you had ready, though, you can recycle it. Save it for later for that next third down coming. Going to the ground again on first. And they take him down, but he's able to get this inside the red zone. Halfway there on first down. That brings up second and five. The humble five to six yard gain on the ground. Not a huge gain. Not a game changing play by any means. But one that keeps you on schedule and takes some of the starch out of that front seven. Once again, Elliott. And he'll have a short pickup down on the 17. Two yards on the pickup, and that leaves him with third down and three. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal game, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. Prescott now to throw on third down. It's caught. Ferguson. And he's brought down a little short. No, actually, they do give him the 10-yard line. That's good for seven yards. And it'll be first down, Dallas. 
you're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. Throwing on first is Prescott. And he will score. Touchdown, Dallas! The Cowboys start to fight back with their first points of this game. Well, Brock, you know this better than most. Sometimes these dudes can be a quarterback's best friend, finding the tight end in the end zone for six. And it really has been that way for decades when you think about it, Kate. From John Mackey to Tony mm -hmm. Gonzalez to Travis mm -hmm. Kelsey, mm -hmm. the position can be such a mismatch when you're throwing for the end zone. Now we'll pause. The officials want to take a good look at this and confirm it was indeed a touchdown. At least right here is where having all those camera angles comes into play. We're going to get a much clearer picture thanks to all the shots we've got. Yep, technology, everybody's friend right now. We get to watch it again and again. Unlike these officials, we've got to see it once in real time. We just have to see, is there clear enough evidence to overturn the call that was made down there on the field? So the celebration can resume on that sideline. The touchdown stands. Brandon Aubrey now on for the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And we're all knotted up. Aubrey now to kick this one away. Calvin Austin on the return. And the return sets them up just beyond their own 20. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. You got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1 and make your case for who should get a boost. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Out of the shotgun. Fields. Bails out of the pocket quick. He tucks it and takes off. That play good for 17 on a first down. As long as these are the results he's getting, they're going to be just fine with him calling his own number. He does such a good job of seeing the field and knowing when it's his time to take it himself. Only took him one play, partner, and they've already made it to that 40-yard line. First down throw for Fields. Brought in left side by Jefferson. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. You know, Kate, over the years, I have heard defensive coordinators say, hey, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. You got to earn the right for me to call blitzes. And when you call a blitz and you don't get home and you don't hit the quarterback, you've earned nothing. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Shotgun snap to Fields. Throw secured by George Pickett. And he's out of bounds right at the 40-yard line. They get 18 yards out of it and a new set of downs. This entire play, Kate, depends on how well he can separate from his man. You get man-to-man -man coverage, it's really about two things, separation and trust. Because QBs want to throw it before he breaks, that's the trust, and then they got to believe that that separation can create the big play down the field. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. Off play action, it's Fields. To the left sideline, complete. And he's got it inside the 15 before going out. It's a 26-yard pickup there. And that's a Steelers first down. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him, only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. They'll keep this drive moving and come to the line for first and 10. 
Another throw for Fields. Looking touchdown, but can't connect. Took his shot at six that time. And it sets up second down. QBs, well, they're a lot like the great shooters in the NBA. Hey, listen, sometimes you're going to miss. You just got to shake it off and keep shooting away. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Field throwing here. And they will score. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. The Steelers get some late points and the lead. Exactly the play they were looking for, Brock. They saw it, and he put it right on the money. Yeah, it really was a perfect play. This is what it looked like in practice, but more importantly now, to get it done in game time, that's what you're looking for. Amazing when it all comes together. Boswell to add the PAT. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Now Boswell on to send this away. This return starts at the five. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. Another drive coming up for this Dallas offensive unit. It's a touchdown ball game right now, Brock. 14-7 as they start this possession. will start out with a first and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Prescott. Searches from the... Pressure's there, and the steal curtain closes on him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down, coming up. The best defensive ends in the NFL, they don't need to win sustained battles to get home. Nope. Sometimes, Kate, all they need is one quick move, and they're into the backfield blowing it up. Here we go, second down. Another try following the sack. This one caught by C.D. Lamb. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. Third and four coming up now. From the gun is Prescott. Nice pass complete over the middle to the tight end. And they can't jump to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They get 27 on the play. And that's good for a Cowboys first down. I'm not sure how this defense let that guy slip through him like that. On third down, nonetheless, he took that snap as an opportunity. And man, did he make an impact play. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Now Dak to throw. Catch made by Cooks. And he stopped at the 31-yard line. Now Dallas is going to call its second timeout. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Another throw for Prescott. And the cover just too good there. Didn't find the throw that he was confident in, so... Just throws it away. Third down coming up.
Death throwing again. Escapes the pocket. He'll make a bid for it on the ground. Gets out of harm's way after stringing together some nice yards on that run. He gets six on that play. And it'll be first down, Dallas. You know, Kate, back in the day, we had a slip and slide to practice for moments just like that. Actually practicing how to slide and get out of harm's way. Nice gain on the play. And denied that defense yet another chance to take a shot on him. Got Lamb, and it's complete. And he gets this down to the 13-yard line. The drive picks up here, first and ten. From the red zone now. Too much on that, and it sails through the end zone incomplete. Quarterbacks, well, they're a lot like sharp shooters in the NBA. Sometimes they're just going to miss. You've got to shake it off and keep on firing. Now Brandon Aubrey will try to knock it through for the Cowboys. This from 30 yards out. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And it's dropped back down now to a four-point game. Well, nothing to critique there. Good snap, good hold, and he puts it through to pay off the drive with three points. Well, Brock Barton, the touchback. This kickoff should run out the half, so better make that return good as it's away. And that's over the 20, the landing zone, and almost everything else. So that football coming out to the 30-yard line. Here comes the final play of our first half. back to throw it he keeps those feet in and makes the catch so we arrive at halftime here in Pittsburgh the Steelers leading after two now it's down to Florida where Jonathan Coachman is standing by in Orlando for the EA Sports halftime report okay Kate thanks very much and welcome in everyone to our EA Sports halftime report it was a strong first half for Steelers quarterback Justin Fields. He fired his guys into the lead with two first half touchdown passes as they were looking like a well oiled machine in the first half of play. Both these teams ready for the fight ahead. We're ready to get back to it as well. And to do just that, we'll hand it back over to Kate and Brock. All right. Thank you, coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. Aubrey now to kick this one away. Returning it from the four. And the return sets them up just beyond their own 20. We'll see the Steeler offense first this half as they're headed out now. Drive starts out with a first and ten. They'll start on the ground here with Warren. And he found some running room for a nice game. Call it nine yards. Looks like a first for a moment. It's second and one. Well, that doesn't net a first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Fields out of the gun. Warren's got it complete. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. A play like this, that's exactly where you want to get him the ball. Right on the outside, where he's got the space and a lot more room to work. 
First down, ball at the 36. A pistol snap, Fields. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll get it up to the 44. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. Play action, Fields. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free, incomplete. Looking for George Pickens that time. So it's going to be third and short coming up. You know, that was almost a nice chunk play before he was able to recover and provide the hit that dislodges the football. You like to see that physical edge and scrappiness to contest any kind of shot plays deep. A third down run with Harris. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. I don't know what it is, Kate, but I love third down runs. I really do. I know the receivers don't always like it because money down, they want the ball. But a third down run for a first down can be so demoralizing to that defense. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Back to throw. Here's Fields. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll take it past the midfield stripe and start to push into Cowboys territory. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable and creates space to take that shot downfield. Second and three now. Fields looking to throw. Finds his man en route complete. And he's marked down, looks like, at the 32-yard line. Give him 13 on that play. And he'll bring up a Pittsburgh first down. I know the combine tries to test everything it possibly can physically, but I don't know how you test courage at the combine because there's nobody defending you. Nobody wants to hit you. But that was the epitome of courage to make that in cut and make the catch. And down he goes. The Cowboy defense gets it done. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. And look at that. All that effort and success from the previous play, it is gone. Credit to this defense who snapped and cleared. That's part of this game. you got to snap and clear. Give up a big play, come back and make a big one for yourself. And they do get home with that sack. They really need some chunk yardage here on second down. Trying again, following the sack. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's going to be brought down at the 35-yard line. The goal of that little drag route is to get him for at least a minimal gain with space to add after that. That picked up a good chunk, and it was nearly a big play. And the Cowboys bring a couple extra defensive backs out. Third down coming. Out of the shotgun, Fields. That one doesn't find its man incomplete. So often, so many of these games in the NFL, well, they come down to a play or two, and third downs are critical. Whether it's in a close game or already out of hand, their coach wants to see them convert those. Facing fourth down, the Steelers opting for the field goal. Chris Boswell out to do the honors. This a 52-yard attempt from the left hash. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And add three to their lead as it extends to seven. The wind was at a sails, Kate, and it certainly helped that football fly true and right down the middle. And from that distance, to hit with that accuracy is one impressive shot. Now Boswell on to send this away. Fielded at the 7. And he's stopped on the return at the 27. The Cowboys about set to take over. They'll look to knot up this game right now as they trail 17-10.
They're out and set. First and ten. Working from the pistol, Prescott. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. As a defense, you got to see the pass. You got to time up your hit, and you got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on to that one through a well placed hit. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Throwing again is Dak. Rifles it, and it's caught. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. They'll get 18 yards there. And that's good for a Cowboys first down. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Give to Elliott on the draw. And he won't get anything there. Several defenders nearby to hold him up. And they're whistling for a stop here. And that's one of the Cowboys who's in some pretty clear discomfort and in need of some assistance. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. Prescott here from the gun. Ferguson's got it, complete. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. The goal of running that drag route is to get it to him for at least a minimal gain with space to add after that. They picked up a good chunk, and there was nearly room to add even more. Battle coming up on third and inches. Trying an inside give to Elliott. And he's going to get stopped right around the 45-yard line. Just a single yard, but that's going to be enough to move the chains. That is your old-school meat and potatoes call right there. Don't even think about throwing it. Just rush it ahead and get what you need. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Right back to Elliott now. And he runs into a wall there. Multiple defenders ready to stop him cold at the line. This is the end of the third quarter. The Cowboys have it, but some work to do in the final frame. They're trailing. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. Dak now from the gun. Complete over the middle to the big tight end. And he'll be brought down here at the 23-yard line. They get 22 on that one. And it'll be first down, Dallas. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. A new set of downs awaits him. Here's first and ten. First down, here's Dak. Quick hitter complete. And he's out of bounds inside the red zone, just short of the 15. I know I could sound like a broken record when I talk about timing and getting the ball out on time and on rhythm. But these outcuts, it is so imperative, and the best of them make it look oh so easy. Second and three now. The play clock ran all the way down there, and this is going to cost the offense. Everyone was set, and at the line, the quarterback just didn't snap it before the play clock hit zero. Offense to the line for second down. Working out of the gun, it's Prescott. Nice work by the back here, playing safety valve, complete. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. That's a defense's goal, right, Kate? Just get us to third down so we can have a chance to get off the field. And that was a good adjustment on that stop in particular. 
when the back ended up being the target, and they were able to keep him short of the sticks. Prescott now to throw on third down. Buys time, rolling right. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. You know, that's one of those little mental Rolodex plays. Right before the snap, you know if the read isn't there, that option isn't there, you can use your legs to make the adjustment and go get the first down. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. From the gun is Prescott. And he will score. Touchdown, Dallas! The Cowboys now trailed by just a point in the fourth. C.D. Lamb with the touchdown. So they punch it in for six, Brock, and now a conversion away from tying this game back up. This one just has the feel, doesn't it? The makings of a one-score game in the fourth quarter that could go either way. So a chance to tie it up again here in the fourth. That one splits the uprights. And we're all tied up. Aubrey now to kick this one away. Here's a return from the seven. They'll have decent field position to begin with here. Brock, he's tackled just beyond that 30-yard line. Now the offense getting set to go for the Steelers. And they'll have a little momentum as they take the field here after their kicker drilled a deep one to end their last drive with points. They've got first down from the 31. Shotgun snap to Fields. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for, and you go out and execute. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Now an inside handoff to Harris. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. Big gain, 14 on the play. And that's a Steelers first down. That's the kind of run that shows he's trying to take some stress off the passing game to provide big plays. What a great help to that side of an offense when the ground game can deliver chunk plays, too. Shotgun handoff to Warren. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. Three yards on the first down play, and that brings up second and seven. From the 42. Oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. Trayvon Diggs has got it. And the Cowboys are stopped on the return just shy of their own 35. You can see it right off the snap. They got a really good read on where that was designed to go. Having that extra defensive back, that nickel coverage, so critical on that interception. Give that defensive coordinator some credit. Had the right plan, the right personnel. These guys on the field made the right play. The Cowboys and quarterback Dak Prescott ready to get back to work. And he has to be happy about his game. We're checking some of the highlights right now that he's made so far. A good showing that's seen him in the zone from time to time. And also he's just seen the field well from his spot in the middle of this offense.
It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Here's Prescott, first and 10. Get some space around midfield. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. Give him 24 on that play. And that's good for a Cowboys first down. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. And he's going to run this down to the 36-yard line. Just a little short, but still a nine-yard pickup. That's going to bring up second and one. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run and crossing that first down marker. That brings us to the two-minute warning in Pittsburgh. Cowboys with a little more work to do to win it here. Elliott straight ahead. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. Third and a lone yard coming up. Here's Zeke on the carry. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. The Steelers calling their first time out. And they are quite frustrated having to call that after giving up the first. First and ten now from the 30. Handoff running right to Elliott. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Pittsburgh will go ahead and use its second timeout. And they are quite frustrated having to call that after giving up the first. All set up now for first and ten. Going with Elliott here. And he drives into a pile of defenders and is stopped right at the line. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. Run this with Elliott. And not much for him there. He's down to the 15-yard line. They push it forward for a yard. That brings up third and eight. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs, it gets the better defenses in this league. Give on third to Elliott. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. It takes every piece of the symphony working in concert right there. When you run a draw on third and long, everybody's got to do their job. The problem, they didn't, and this defense responded. So a big kick coming up for Brandon Aubrey. It's a 34-yarder from that right hash. That one is good! And they're going to take the lead inside the final minute! I know that was a kick he could make in his sleep, but with the game on the line, he delivered. Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30.
They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Throwing now. Big catch made, and he got both feet in. They get 13 on the pickup. And he'll bring up a Pittsburgh first down. to throw. Caught him deep behind the line. Oh, the ball is out! And the Cowboys scoop it up. And he's able to get this down to the 13. So the Cowboys come in and take this one on the road. And they got the field goal when it mattered most. And that kicked the difference in the game and what lets them leave here with a victory. And with Brock Heward and our EA Sports crew, I'm Kate Scott saying so long from this one.